Hey everyone, Fantastic Contraption version 1.5, the Kaiju update, is now live. I'll just give you a quick TLDR breakdown on everything that's happening in this update. The biggest one is in the name, Kaiju update. So this new update allows you to uh, take the building island and rotate it and raise it and lower it and shrink it and expand it. So instead of requiring room scale, you can actually fit it in a small box on your lap or on top of your desk or wherever. You no longer need a very big space to play the game. You can play it in any size space now at all uh, and it opens up a whole bunch of opportunity. I hope you check it out and like it. It was a ton of fun to make and it makes for awesome little video clips like these. Other feature, eye camera. Uh, you can now pluck eyeballs out of your head and place them onto your contraption. So you're actually able to use the director controls to show an eyeball view that uh, follows along with the eyeball that you place in your contraption. We've also added the ability to rate contraptions. For online sharing, it's been hard to find things that are interesting to look at. And we are sorting based on, you know, like how well you did, but there's a lot of ties for first place. So now you can actually pick up a contraption, hold it to your lips, and a smooch sound effect to play. And that will uh, mark the contraption with little hearts and that will rank it higher. It's the equivalent of giving it a plus one or a thumbs up or a vote. Uh, so just smooch all of your favorite contraptions and they'll bubble up to the top in the rankings and you'll uh, have better curation for everyone. We're also shipping in this update support for Japanese. Um, it looks really cool, I can't read it, but hey, we wanna do some, give some love to our Japanese fans out there. So having new language support actually uh, opens the door to modding for the first time of Fantastic Contraption. You're able to uh, use Steam Workshop to create new languages, download them, and share them with the community. We're hoping to take the best ones and roll them into a big feature pack update in the future, and we hope to one day get all the languages into the game, but for now, just English and Japanese, and uh, we hope you, the community, will help us work on that. Additionally, we're experimenting with some visual modding. Uh, you're able to put a different texture on Neko. So Neko the cat can now uh, be configured in a way that you find visually pleasing. And you can uh, upload that as well to uh, Steam Workshop and the modding community at large. So uh, really interested and curious to see what people will make of that. We've always had avatars. We've always had a handful of selection of avatars. Now there's a bunch of avatars in the game. Uh, including a few secret ones. We've also added hats. We have a variety of different hats that uh, you could put on top of any avatar. So you can really customize your play experience. My favorite is the Pegasus because it has wings. I like flying things. And also a smaller update, but an interesting update to the uh, Twitch engine we're using. Your Twitch viewers can now actually vote on what avatar and what hat they want to see on you. Uh, using a variety of uh, Twitch chat commands that we monitor in-game. So uh, yeah, there's a bunch of moderator controls and voting controls, and I think uh, this is really interesting. Uh, perhaps in the future, if there's uh, more interest in these uh, Twitch customizations, we may be able to add some gameplay integration into that as well. Let us know what you think, and uh, if you want to see a 15-minute long version of this TLDR video, be sure to check out the link below for our uh, fireside chat with Kayla Kinnanen. <laughs> we're, we're waiting for the joke. We're just gonna sit here waiting for the joke.